In today's video, I'm gonna show every one of the hidden safes around Brookhaven. To start off, we'll be doing all the mansions. Starting with this one, the White House. This one has actually been put in the game fairly recently. It's basically the president's house. So let's have a look. You can already see the presidential office right here. You're gonna find it down beneath the stairs. All you need to do is click this statue. And now you'll find yourself at the safe. Wait, what is all this? So yeah, the White House's safe is hidden underneath the whole place. And that's only the first of tons of other safes we'll be having a look at today. Now let's have a look at this mansion. This one's a lot more modern, with a helicopter and even a whole pool. As well as just how beautiful it is inside. It's pretty simple, safe to find. We just go into the main suite and then into this closet. You'll find this button that as you click will transform you straight to the safe. There's even a little sign here asking you to leave a like down below. Why don't you follow it? It's time for the this whole military complex. And since it is one of those, this one's a bit of a complex one as well. To get to it, you need to sit down on this chair right here and then. Wait, they stole my safe. Anyways, after sitting on it, you just go to the middle of this table and you'll be teleported into the safe room. I'm not sure if it's actually safe in here. You saw just how many people got to it. Maybe you have noticed it, but I'm playing today with a bunch of my subs. We literally filled this whole server full of people. And if you want to do just like these guys and show up on video, or just play Roblox with me sometimes. Go follow my Roblox profile at NandaYT. Just click the three little dots and then the follow button and you'll be able to do that just fine. This is Brookhaven's very own The Drake Hotel. It's more of a mansion than a hotel to me just because of how beautiful it is. Now the way to the safe is first clicking on this button to go up a floor. Then click another to go back down. And as that happens, you'll be able to go down this way, which is what we would call the hotel safe room. Someone even wrote a message for us telling Telling us there's no safe in here, but it's literally just behind this thing. Don't lie to me. In this beautiful place, you'll find the safe next to this bedroom. You just need to go into the closet. Because as you saw, there's a whole elevator that you can call down. Which takes you to this basement where you'll find the safe waiting for you. Now in this mansion, you'll just need to go to the kitchen and jump on top of this iron thing. Then jump into this wall with a secret passage that'll take you to this room. And here is the safe we're all looking for. Of course, they already got to it before me. This is Brookhaven's very own prison. The safe of this place is actually not that hidden, so you probably already know about it. You literally just go into this room and there it is just on that corner. Here's one of the most famous mansions in all of Brookhaven. Probably because it was one of the first ones being added and you can find it right down here. In this indoor gym, you just need to do some push-ups on this thing. And this door will open up for you. I really like how it works. I'll even open the safe so no one can steal it this time. And I did that just in time as you saw. With all the mansion's done for, we can have a look at the apartments. We'll be starting with this wine red one. It's not a safe one at all. You just need to go to the main bedroom and it'll be right on this wall. So let's jump onto the next. This blue one. Another one that's easy to grab a hold off. It's literally right here in this closet with only a few clothes to hide it. And of course, someone already stole it. Why do you guys do this to me? Let's have a look at this one now. I don't really have much to say. You'll literally find it just down the main corridor. Anyone can just walk in and blow it up easily. For me, this is the best of the apartments for sure. It's awesome just how many bicycles and skateboards you'll find around here. I really like it. Here at least it's a bit hidden. Going into this bedroom, you'll find this mirror that's actually a hidden passage to a corridor, which is where you'll find your little safe. Now let's have a look at the futuristic apartment. This one also has a secure one as well. Just go into their bathroom, which just looks like a regular place with nothing to hide. But jumping into the mirror will show you to a little room with your safe right there. Then the apartment with the fountain is not that hidden as well. Well, kinda. You do need to open up this wall to get to it. And at the end of this room, you'll find your safe and hopefully it won't be robbed like mine. This is our last stop here. Brookhaven Records. For this one, we need to go over to this piano's recording room. You'll find a button behind the piano that opens up a passage on this wall. And there's our safe just waiting for us. Now that you know everything about the mansions and apartment safes, we'll be having a look at the regular houses in the game. If you didn't know, we actually actually have about 51 homes in Brookhaven. So to help with the length of this video, we'll be skipping the ones with fully exposed safes. Let's start with a very well used house. Known as the YouTuber house, you can find it hidden beneath the cupboards of the kitchen on this corridor right here. Next up is this one, which is a premium house inside of Brookhaven. It's also kind of hidden. You just need to jump into this wall and you'll find it just standing there in front of us. For this place, we can't actually find a safe anywhere since it's still under construction. 
Not only this one, but there's a bunch of other ones that don't have it as well. I just talked about it, so you know why we'll be skipping a few other places as well. We're gonna look at this modern house right now. You'll see a lot of people using it, and if you click on this plant on the second floor, a secret passage will open up, and it'll lead you straight to your safe. I'm just not sure why the subs place more safes in front of it. Here we have the beach house. There's a pretty well hidden one here. Just go into its bathroom and click on this mirror and dude, why are they just placing so many safes in here? But yeah, you'll find it inside this room. This is the Apocalypse Shelter RP set. As you can see, it looks like a little broken down shelter for a zombie outbreak. To get to this safe, we literally need to sit down on this toilet and now you'll just be able to go through the floor beneath this tree. Wait, why doesn't it work? I guess I need to stay on here for a little while longer. Now we should be able to go into it. Oh, there it is. We found it. So yeah, the safe is here and the place you need to go down is the corner of this plot, just so you don't get confused like me. Now we'll be having a look at the toy house. To get to this one, we need to be as small as can be, because that'll help us get to these toys and go down this secret passage fairly quickly and find it waiting here. Time for the most interesting house. It's a literal submarine. To find this one, you need to go all the way down to this storage room. Coming over to this corner, you'll find this ladder that leads you straight into the safe's room. Here we have the farmhouse. This is one of the safest ones to find. You actually need a shovel to get to it. You basically need to try to dig down the right place to get to it. And you gotta find it fast before the owner of the house gets to you. After a while of digging, we finally got teleported here. Here is our safe. And if you want to get out, you'll need to do the same thing on this pile of dirt. And there we go. You're out of there. Next up, we have the three-pointed roof house. Here's another old house in this game. Most people already know about the elevator that takes you to the basement and the safe. This is known as the car house. The name is because there's literally cars inside of it as decoration and the wheels everywhere inside of it. You'll find the safe in the main bedroom. Just click this picture right here to open up the way to the safe. Now this one's pretty damn old, but it's actually one of the most hidden safes we'll find. To get to it, you need to find this secret passage that takes you to this green corridor full of plants. From here, you can find another hidden corridor with water that brings you to the safe. I think this one is probably the most recent house we got, even though it's more of a storage room than a proper home. But here's the deal. Clicking on this mop will raise up this ramp and open up a secret passage for us to go down, which is where you'll find the new Brookhaven criminal base. And this whole vault is the safe of the place. It's a lot different from other homes. Just look at how much money there's here as well. Then we have this house, which is also not a regular house. The first floor is a bakery, but upstairs we can find a well-hidden safe. If you jump on top of this frame and then jump again, you'll find the basement and of course the safe will be right here. It's now time that we'll see about this castle. For this one, we need to go to its library and click on these candles right here. As you do that, one of the bookshelves will disappear and the safe will be exposed to you. Let's have a look at this military base now. This place is really secure, so the safe is well hidden as well. Going to the lowest floor, you'll find this secret passage right here. It's confusing, but this corner will actually take you straight to the safe if you know where you're going. Now we'll have a look at this beautiful house. We need to go down here and click on this shower head. As you do that, this wall will move and open up this corridor with the safe right at the end of it. You have probably seen this house being used a lot. You'll find the safe in this bathroom. It does look pretty normal, right? But if you pass through the shower box wall, there'll be a safe just waiting for you. Here we have another one of our old homes. They did hide it well though, as we need to do a bit of parkour. Just go right up here and walk across this metal beam until you get to the other side. Right at the end, you'll find the safe. And that little girl got here even before me. With that, I've shown all the safes in the game. So hope I helped you guys out. Please make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for even more content like this and more. Watch one of the videos on screen as well. You're for sure gonna enjoy them. Thank you for watching and have a good one.